Hello, Shumai Shalom. My name is Craig J. Davis and welcome to, to my channel. See my t-shirt? Guns N' Roses, w one of the best bands in the world. Axel Rose is one of the greatest singers on this earth ever. Wow, wow, sweet child of mine. Okay, All right, um... Uh, moving on from that, if you have your Bibles uh, with you, please turn, t please turn with me to to Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen. So that's two Timothy, chapter two Timothy, chapter three, verse twelve. So sorry, two Timothy, chapter three, verse twelve. Get out the way. Okay, so 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. I will read that again. 2 Timothy ch chapter 12. What's wrong with me? 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. Yes. And all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. To all atheists out there who say that the Bible is a load of rubbish, then how do you explain that, that scripture then? Because Christians are being perse persecuted. All over the world, where, where you have Christians, you have persecution. Even in this country, the United Kingdom, Christians are being persecuted. However, the persecution that is happening here is only a picnic compared to what is happening in other countries around the world. I was sent this this a, a letter from an organization called the Bible Network and it sent me a letter here about Christians who are being persecuted in the in Middle East and in the Far East and basically what this organization is is saying is to send a money to them send whatever finances you have to them so they can provide bibles secretly to countries where bibles are not allowed yes that's how strict anti-christian some of these countries are where you cannot even possess a bible and if you get caught you, you will be severely uh, punished case in point in north korea but anyway this is uh, uh, what it says and um, it starts with a scripture from isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 and this is what it says I will I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I'll read that again. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That is in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. And this is what the letter says. When just £3.80 provides a Bible... For someone who longs for it, how can we ignore their cry for help? A dear friend, first you notice your neighbours crossing the street so they don't have to talk to you. Then your local shopkeeper refuses to serve you. One by one, even your own family begins to shun you as they realise the danger you might put them in. 
strangers shout offensive names at you and even spit on you in the street. Finally, armed police start pounding on your door in the middle of the night because they've had reports that you are an enemy of the government. Would you keep trusting in Jesus and faithfully call him your saviour? It's an impossible question, but in some of the most hostile anti-Christian places around the world, it's a question persecuted believers like Adem must answer daily. Adem. I've changed his n name for security r reasons. A former Muslim in the Middle East explains, Here, those who follow Jesus are persecuted. People have been beaten and threatened with a death. They've been chased from their homes and abandoned by their communities. Now, anyone who, who has studied Islam and read their book, the Quran, as I have, will perfectly understand that. Because apostasy in Islam is a death. Yes, apostasy in Islam, meaning, in other words, if you choose to refuse and renounce your Islamic faith, then it's capital punishment for you. So to all of the woke culture, please explain to me again how Islam is a religion of peace. Funny that, isn't it? Anyway, um, carrying on. Persecution is a heartbreaking reality faced by so many of our Christian brothers and sisters around the world today. But despite the risks, faithful believers like Adem aren't given up. Instead, it makes them even more determined to reach people with the truth of the gospel, even those who want to persecute them. But they need your urgent help. They need a, a, a Bibles. That's why I'm writing with urgency to you. To that's why I'm writing with urgency to you to today. For just three pound eighty, you can put a Bible in the hands of someone who will draw strength and comfort from it. That means your special a, a gift of say. £22.80 can provide a Bible for six believers. I'm sure you know how important it is for believers to be firmly rooted in God's words, especially those at risk of persecution. But for so um, many Christians in restricted areas, even if they could save up enough for and money, Bibles are completely unavail unavailable. Bibles are completely unavailable. You can help. Right now, Adam and so many other believers are praying for, pleading for, uh, Bibles. They desperately need the hope God's word provides. Will you answer the prayers? The heartful please. Your gift today can ensure our brothers and sisters who are refused work, threatened, attacked and publicly humiliated because of their love for, for Jesus Christ can turn to the promises in his word for, for strength, comfort, peace and courage. Every £3.80 of your gift today can place a Bible in the hands and hope and strengthen the heart of a persecuted Christian who wants it more than anything in the world. Your gift today could reach someone like Rasilla in, in India, 
for her safety, I've changed her name. She found new life in Jesus Christ in a local Bible-based, literally, um, a literary, I can't say it, school, right? I'll, I'll say school. Uh, she found a new life in Jesus Christ in a local Bible-based school class. Since then, she has been threatened by family and members of her community. But she bravely refuses to renounce her Christian faith. Why? Because once saved, always saved. Rosilla and others like her will cling to the strength and hope they'll find in your gift of a Bible. And wherever they are, someone like Rosilla taking the bold step to follow Christ in countries where it's dangerous to be a Christian will know that a sister or brother in Christ stands with them. How? Because thanks to you, they will have God's word. Please use the enclosed reply form to rush your gift of God's word to each persecuted Christians like Adam and Russell to today. Any amount you can send will strengthen and encourage believers persecuted for their faith. And thanks to you, the Christian faith can continue to grow in some of the darkest countries on earth. Thank you so, so much. Uh, blah, blah, and uh, well, yeah, that's all I have to read. So, with this form, I got this. It's, uh, uh, it's an, you know, it's, uh, well, I got this. It tells you uh, how a bunch um, you can send to, you know, to financially send a, a Bibles to where a Bible's not avail available, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll um, I'll send something, and hopefully they'll get um, God's a, a words, and I will help them to. Have hope, well, you know, to increase the hope and encourage front in Christ. For those of you out there who also want to do the, the same, then just please go to their website. Then just please go to their website, the Bible Network. The, uh, it's here somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay, right. The, the website is www.thebiblenetwork.org.uk. So, the, this is only replying to UK citizens, okay, or you can um, go to the address, the Bible in Network, Unit 9, a Burnt Oak Farm, Heathfield, and the postcode is TN210NL. If you didn't catch that, that's okay, because I will post all of this in the description box below below okay but if it's god's words to right to my brothers and sisters in christ if it's god's word for you to to send what any money you can to this company so our persecuted brethren in countries out there around the world can get a bible then please send what you can if you can't pray all right so yeah please comment please subscribe please don't hesitate to hit the like a button and to all of my christian brothers and sisters out there if i do not get to see you in this lifetime i shall see you all in our father's kingdom god bless you all in jesus precious and
and name. Amen. Like the t-shirt, the guy. Welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games!